Biotech. We're here today talking about our RhinoClean Green stencil products. Uh, these are designed for taking the inks out, cleaning the ink on press, removing the stencils and so forth. One we're going to talk about right at the moment is ERG8550L. That's an emulsion remover. That comes in a variety of formats, obviously in quarts, gallons, five gallons, 55 gallons, but it also comes in concentrates. You can get a 30 to 1. You can also get a 15 to 1. This happens to be the ready to use version. We have a screen over there. The ink is removed. Um, what we're going to do now is just remove that emulsion off the screen. Take our ERG8550L. Put a little bit on our scrubber, put some on the screen, and scrub it in. Now I'm going to scrub the other side as well. Now, a lot of people, when they're doing this, and they're not just doing one screen at a time. They're, they're sitting there and they're doing 5, 10, 15, 20. So what they'll do is they'll put that on, let it sit, do another screen, apply it, another one and another one. At that point, they'll come back, take that first screen out, and start to wash it off. We're going to let that sit here for a couple more seconds. And again, remember that this also comes in a concentrated version. All you have to do is mix it 15 to 1 with water. Obviously, that's going to save a lot of money in your freight costs. A little bit of work inside, but it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Going to take the pressure washer. I like to wash from the bottom of the screen or the non print side and from the bottom up. That way, I'm not washing all my chemicals off during the process. I keep, they keep working at the top as I work my way up. See this spot right here? That's being really stubborn. And why that's there is because when the person coated that screen, they left a glob on the side of the screen. If you know how to coat, it's not a problem. If you're using capillaries, it's also not a problem. I can put a little more chemical on there, but I think I'll just take the pressure washer and blast it up. We now have a screen that has been cleaned. We have our emulsion off of it. However, I highly recommend at this point that you go straight to your degreasing steps um, using the SDG 2200. However, if you do have a haze image, a ghost image in there, at that point you can go directly to that part of it, the ghost removal, and you can use the HRG 2400, which is in that green line. What we were using here was the ERG8550L. These are all available at Rhinotech, 888-71-RHINO or www.rhinotechinc.com. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. See you again.